Good evening, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the second episode of the Cedar House Sessions, a collaborative project of the Gingung Thlatogod Music and Arts Cooperative and the Haida Gwaii Radio Society. I'm Laura, this is my co-host Marcus, and we're broadcasting live from beautiful Skidigit on Haida Territory. We've got Dub Jackson Band here. Do you guys want to hit us with your first tune? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. That's right, I'm at this party, who was that I was talking to? I gotta put my phone away, just have a drink or two, three or four or five or six, and smoke some green and sticky shit, but I can't forget about anything, and now I'm feeling everything, but I'm alright, doing this, and every night I feel like shit, but if I have to feel like shit, I'll deal with it tomorrow, I know I shouldn't worry, I just overran. I'm sorry, and I mostly don't tell lies I'm afraid to touch, I don't know how to dance I'm completely paralyzed I'll procrastinate all fucking day But I'm trying to change my life I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change I'm trying to change my life I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change 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 Seriously, I'm doing fine. I'm usually happy most of the time. My eyes are wide, and now all the time I'm trying to find a sign. Stop. I'm fucking fine. Oh, never mind. Tomorrow I might change my life. I got lots of time. Tonight is mine. Maybe you and I should step outside and slow this whole thing down a bit. I think it might be time to quit. I had three or four or five or six. I smoked something and I'm feeling sick But I didn't forget about anything And now I think about everything But I, that's okay, I'm feeling this And I have some shit to deal with But when I have to deal with shit I deal with it tomorrow I know I shouldn't worry I just overanalyze And I'll tell you that I'm sorry I mostly don't tell lies I'm afraid to touch, I don't know how to dance I'm completely paralyzed I procrastinate all fucking day, but I'm trying to change my life. I'm, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change my life. I procrastinate all fucking day, but I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to change, trying to change, trying to change, trying to change my life. I procrastinate all fucking day, but I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to change, trying to change my life. I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change, trying to change my life. I procrastinate all fucking day, but I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change my life. I procrastinate all fucking day, but I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change my life. I procrastinate all fucking day, but I'm trying to change my life.
This is Dub Jackson Band live on the Cedar House Sessions. We're really excited to have you guys in. You've been playing together here on Haida Gwaii for quite some time now, I think around four years. Do you want to just give us a quick uh, history lesson on how you guys got together? Yeah, for sure. Thanks so much, Marcus. It's so awesome being here. And uh, basically, Dub Jackson Band was kind of started in a large part by Greg Williams getting him and myself and Al together to play songs that I'd been playing solo for a little while. And uh, the band started there and just took off and grew and some members changed and we went through a whole bunch of drummers. Yeah, and we got a list of drummers here if one of the camera wants to zoom in on them. It would take too long to talk about each of them. <laughs> Kind of like a real-life Spinal Tap situation going on. Yeah, fortunately, nobody has spontaneously combusted, but, I mean, we're keeping our eye on Keep Brian. Keep sure. on Brian, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we've been practicing on dusting for vomit, though, in, in the event that one of them. So, yeah, we've gone through some horn players, and we added Pete uh, about a year or so in when he came back from university, and, yeah, we just keep growing and evolving and rocking and rolling. We figured our first show was in May 2015 for the uh, Haida Gwaii Communities Against Super Tankers Pull Together Rally in Skidigat. So that was our stage debut as Dub Jackson Band. Right on, right on. And uh, I understand you guys have a bit of a trilogy ahead for us. Yeah, coming up. it's definitely definitely a cinematic. Uh, like a manifesto almost. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we're, we're stoked to get into it, if you guys are ready. I'm sure, yeah. This is, uh, yeah, this is called the Rock and Space Trilogy. Now it's much too late 
But the earth doesn't care, it's a rock in space And the acid rain burns you and me And you slowly starve, cause there's nothing to eat And you die from a terrible infectious disease But the earth doesn't care no, the earth doesn't care. No, the earth doesn't care what happens to you. And the pandas wouldn't die if they would eat more than bamboo. The polar bears have no seals to eat. Cause the ice is melting out from under their feet And the Amazon is almost gone But the earth doesn't care No, the earth doesn't care I'd ask Jesus to take the wheel But I think he's had a bit much to drink And even if he was sober, well I'm not so sure He even knows how to drive These cars are a man-made invention They're just steel and rubber It's all outside of God's intention Maybe that's why they're destroying the planet Cause the ozone just can't understand it Maybe that's why everything we do Leads us to a self-inflicted impending doom Two, three, four, but I don't care We're here for a good time, not a long time And as long as we've got all my favorite things I think I'll be alright Board games, candy, weed, and drugs, and alcohol And all the guys and condoms for when I get laid in porn For those lonely nights and that's why There's seven billion people And every one of us is gonna die Seven billion people, and everyone's gonna die. We're killing each other and killing ourselves, puking carbon into the sky. We're a parasitic species sucking sustenance from our earth. We fag and bomb, and when we die, we get what we deserve. 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 The rapid rise of industrialized consumerist societies has fostered this new peculiar perspective on prosperity. We love our fucking stuff, and we love our fucking money. We hate our jobs, we hate our life, we all hate everybody. It's not our fault, it's all our fault. It's not your fault, it's all your fault. About all this shit. The saddest bit about all this shit is that it's come with such a cost. The atmosphere seems beyond repair, and everything will be lost. The signs of our demise become increasingly more visible. The planet will keep changing, gradually growing inhospitable. The 
atmosphere is heating. The glaciers are receding, and the ocean rises higher. While the forests are on fire, the winds are blowing harder. And the viruses get smarter, and no one will escape from the impending extinction. Unless we change right now in a radical revolution, I can somehow this addiction to pollution will be forced to flee like a refugee from this planet we've destroyed. And the final human will die someday, try to colonize an asteroid. Dead on a rocket space, dead on a rocket space, dead on a rocket space. That was awesome. <laughs> that was a skanktastic trifecta. Thank you for that. It's our ode to the planet. That's fourth wave ska taking over the world 2019. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right. Well, judging from those fe- three songs, you're a well oiled machine now, but we want to hear about the early days of Dub Jackson. Maybe like the not so shiny moments. Can you tell us about your first gig and your worst gig? Uh, well, like Al mentioned, our first gig was the Coast uh, Pull Benefit, which was uh, at the Small Hall in Yeah, Skidigan. we were on the stage at the Small Hall. We played all of our, we played Drill Baby Drill. and Yeah, some of the old classics, probably uh, Zombie, Zombie Love. Zombie Love, and not everybody was. Probably Rock in Space. <laughs> yeah, that was where I, we been on the... I think my personal first gig, because I came in after the fact, was at the greenhouse actually uh about a week after coming back from university in june we we played a party yeah at the it was like I mean, the that was my night first. before skitty get days or something it was yeah. like a secret show that we just we did yeah that was a good one yeah worst gig we figured we played in vancouver <laughs> we played at the historic and venerable smiling buddha cabaret uh, Ironically, probably like the vehicle. coolest venue that we've played yeah, in. Yeah, so like the whole dance floor area is this sweet half pipe, and then the stage is right on the edge of the end of the half pipe, and we played first, and it was my birthday, and, and we, we had a bunch of friends there, and we'd spent the afternoon at a vapor lounge in Vancouver, and. Uh, <laughs> So far, this sounds great. <laughs> yeah, 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 we so did not play great. We played then terribly. Johnny Bagel. <laughs> That guy right there who was our manager at that the time. That was the night the we had to fire Johnny Bagel. Decided he was going to make an appearance on stage with a loaf or two of white bread and toss it at us and then at the audience all over the skate ramp. And then we had to clean it up the next day. Yeah. So he just like disappeared into the uh, crevices of East Van, our, uh, his natural habitat. The and f- he... <laughs> The phase of our band where we were represented... Was fired at that m- moment the set ended, and then obviously we had no more like chance to make him... The, the phase of our band where we were represented by Johnny Bagel was definitely the darkest timeline, easily. Well, it was, wait, it hold was on. The Tofino show was also under his... And that was like... It was a me, me to work. Uh, anyway, I, anyway, that's enough about that. All right, I feel like we could delve a little deeper into that, but that's uh, that's maybe a topic for another time. Uh, we've got a couple more songs for us. Yeah, we got a couple more. These are more uh, explicitly political. Uh, so this next one's called Police State. It's a bit of a rewrite from uh, the version that you might find on our first album, the Summer EP. Yeah, we wrote for the Wet'suwet'en protest in solidarity of in a Stoughton camp. <laughs> Your pipeline 
government, like the corporations We don't want your colonial system
this broken system. All right, you're listening to Dub Jackson Band live on the Cedar House Sessions. Uh, There's some pretty powerful messages behind those lyrics. I'm, I'm a little bit curious uh, who does the songwriting and where your guys' inspiration comes from. Uh, well, we all write songs. Generally speaking, if you're seeing one of us singing it, it's probably because we wrote it. So kind of started with songs that I'd written, and I started writing songs, and Pete joined. Pete started writing songs, so we all contribute. And uh, you know, as far as the messaging... For me, those last two songs came out of real life situations. Police State I wrote after Trayvon Martin and uh, Broken System I just wrote last year with all the talk of reconciliation and all the bullshit coming from the government. Just my way of expressing what I was feeling about it. Right on. Yeah, songs, we kind of bring them together half formed and then they, I don't know, they take on a life of their own when you had the drums and then we kind of looked at trading vocals in different parts of them and like having like a little bit of depth that way too. So there's been ones where I've rewritten part of Blair's song and then sing that part of it or Blair's rewritten part of my song and has a different backing part or whatever. Like it's collaborative. It's a team effort. Yeah, it takes all of us to make this happen. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you guys have one more song for us before we go. Uh, the Cedar House Session is brought to you by HaidaGuayRadio.org. In, future, in the future, you can listen live by going onto the website and clicking the Listen Live button. It's that easy. Uh, we're going to keep doing this every month. This month we got Dub Jackson Band here. You guys are sounding really good. We're really happy to have you. And uh, the Cedar House Session is a collaborative project between Ging Gang, Hlothal God, and the Haida Gwaii Radio Society. You guys want to take us away with one last tune? Yeah, so this song is called It's Not Democracy when the oligarchs choose themselves as the representatives and candidates. It goes out to our man Nathan Cullen, maybe the only half-decent politician in this country. You need. 